Yo, it's good. It's your boy Anseco. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're new, and all that other shit. But before I jump into this story time, I'ma just have to tell y'all, like, I'ma name the girl early in advance. I'ma name her KK. KK, if you find this video by chance, which I hope you do, I just want to thank you for making a dog, because you really changed me. You changed my life. You changed my perspective on everything and everybody. And I just want to say thank you and congratulations, bitch. You 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 made an animal. You made an animal. But without further ado, y'all, let, let's get into the story time. You know what I'm saying? Cause this shit right here, this shit. No, let me. No, I'm a, it. All right, so boom. I'm about to give y'all the context clues and first because I don't want y'all niggas to be lost at all. So look, it was my sophomore year in high school. It was 2015. Drake's album just came out. It was like a, like two. It was two months after this. Uh, after if you're reading this too late, dropped. So I was I was fucking with that whole album, bro. That none of them songs on that shit was getting skipped at all. It wasn't even his album. It was his mixtape. But look, you know, I had me a little like I, this is when I was just starting, you know, like getting like doing shit with girls. Like I was always, you know, I was always talking to girls. Like eighth grade, I wasn't getting no play play. Ninth grade, I started talking, like, you know, I was just talking, you know, they was talking to me and I was talking to them. Tenth grade is when I really, like, started getting more confidence and shit, so I was talking to them, you know what I'm saying? So, it's this one girl, she goes to another school, I'm gonna name, you know, her name KK. So, she, she, she was a year younger than me, she was a freshman, I was a sophomore, but bro, she was so, like, she had, like, a body, like, she was, like, a 11th grader, like, she had some big ass teeth and she had a fat ass. But like she was like a six in the face but i thought she was bad as fuck to me because you know i'm just starting to talk to girls and shit you know and i think i just caught me like a, do a doubt and like i just caught me a dime or some shit so i'm over here you know you know making her my woman crush wednesday she made me her man crush um monday all that shit so you know we talking for like two to three weeks right so you know everything's going on well and shit and then spring break come up she asking me she was like you going to pc like what you doing for spring break and shit and i'm like I don't know, y'all might go to Myrtle Beach with my, my niggas, my niggas and my family and shit. Cause at the time, my mom, she was like, we going to Myrtle Beach for spring break. But she was like, if you want to, you can bring like two friends and they can come with you. So I was like, bet. So I brought my niggas, my niggas Andre and uh, Jakari. That's their actual names. I brought them with me. You know, we over here in Myrtle Beach, we drove all the way down there, we chilling and shit. They spent the night at my house. They spent the night at my house before we left. So like, you know, cause we was leaving early in the morning, like probably like two o'clock in the morning, some shit. So they over there with me, you know, I'm texting them, we on the phone, every, all of us, we all on the phone talking to our shirts, you know, y'all, if y'all ever experienced that shit, bro, that's a lovely feeling, all y'all niggas, you and your niggas, y'all all in the room, and y'all on the phone talking to some hoes, so I'm over here talking to my shirt, I'm like, yeah, so like, if I was, what, what you finna do, like, he over there, you know, I was killing your shit, like, you know, we all in our bags, bro, we all talking to our girl and shit, and, uh, you know, everything's lovely, everything's lavish, bro, everything is lavish, you know what I'm saying? I can't complain. I'm happy. I'm about to get some play. You know, I'm a young nigga with a thick bitch on my wrist. You dig what I'm saying? So, spring break come around. We driving down to Myrtle Beach. Whoop -de -whoop. I'm texting her. You know, I'm texting her and shit. She texting me. She was always a fast replier, and I was always a fast replier too. I was always. I'm that type of person. If you text my phone and my phone in my hand, I'm gonna reply right then. I'm not gonna wait. Oh, I'm gonna wait two minutes or three minutes. You know. And then decide to text back. As soon as I get the mission, if I'm on my phone and I see like a notification, I'm gonna click on that bitch. Or if you text me and I'm on my phone, I'm gonna text you back right then and there. That shit is corny if you wait and you know stack up notifications. That shit was always corny to me. But uh, you know, we texting and shit. And I, when she was going to PCB two days after I got to Myrtle Beach, so I got to Myrtle Beach, I don't remember the exact date, but we just gonna like say I got say I got there Saturday, right? I got to Myrtle Beach Saturday. I'm over there like chilling and shit. My niggas, they, you know, they out, you know, we went to the beach and shit. And at the same time, it's college students out in Myrtle Beach. Because what was uh, the college near uh, where I was staying at? Coastal Carolina University, I think. So they was having their spring break at the same time as us. So we was out there partying with the college students and shit on the beach. So I'm over there and like, I, I mind you, like, she know I'm out here yeah, partying and shit, but like, I mean, like, like I said, like, we was just talking, but like, you could damn near say we was dating, like, we was talking every day, we just didn't have a title, like, it wasn't official, but that was my girl, and that was her nigga, so I'm texting her and shit, but like, you know, I'm over here being very cautious, these bitches is over here shaking ass, and I'm like, do I really want to, like, risk it, I'm like, who the fuck about to, you know, who about to, who, who, how she gonna find out that I'm getting twerked on by some college bitches, 
Like, what the fuck? And I know my nigga's not finna snitch on me. So, you know, I'm getting a few dances and shit, but I'm not doing nothing reckless, my nigga. Like, I'm not, you know, getting my dick sucked and shit, you know. You know, like, <laughs> I'm not doing nothing reckless. So, I'm out here, you know, just living my life. I'm a young, I'm, a, I'm in 10th grade, and we out here partying with college students and shit. We, we got golf carts, even though we wasn't supposed to be drunk because we had no license. In South Carolina, you can drive golf carts. Like, it's legal to drive golf carts, I think. So, we, my mom, she gave us the keys to the golf cart. She said, go enjoy yourselves. We out here driving the golf cart and shit. We pulling up the college parties. We going around the uh, beach house neighborhood or whatever, and we pulling up on niggas. Like, niggas playing basketball. We playing basketball with their ass, dropping their ass off and shit. So... We talking like, you know, I'll get home and I, my mom, we got the food ready. She like, oh, y'all come eating shit. We eating and I'm on the phone with her. My niggas, they on the phone too. So this girl, I'm over here FaceTiming her and shit. I, you know, I put her on the phone with my mom. My mom talked to, you know, get a feel for her and shit. My mom, like, she seemed like a decent girl. So, and my mom got good judgment. So I'm like, all right, shit, it's, it was good. So we talking, she talking to my mom. I'm talking to her mom and dad. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm talking to her parents. She done met my mom. And my mom, she was like, you like this girl? And I was like, yeah. But, like, later on, like, I found out my mom say some shit like that. It really means, like, this bitch ugly as fuck. Like, my mom, she not the type to be disrespectful. She not going to be like, oh, this girl you messing with ugly. But, like, she going to say some shit to her. It's like, like you like you going to feel what she's saying. So, she like, so you really like this girl. That's exactly how she said it. She was like, so you really like this girl. And I was like, yeah. Like, that that's my girl. Like, that's my shorty. So, she like... All right, if that's if you happy, then I'm happy for you too. And at the time, I didn't really know she was like, you know, like you can do better, son. Like <laughs> you can do better. But you know, I was I I don't know, bro. Maybe I was hypnotized by the booty and the titties or some shit. I don't know, bro. But uh, she was bad as fuck to me. She was a ten in my eyes when I found her. So long story short, you know, we still doing our uh, occasional thing. We talking and shit. And now she's going down to PCB. She went with like two of her friends, I think. So. Around this time, this is when it got real popular. I don't know if y'all niggas ever had this. Like, if you my age, you will remember. You will remember this shit for real. Because I went at this time. I was living in Georgia, but I was living in Cobb County. Cobb County is like somebody watching this video gotta be from Cobb County, bro. I went to South Cobb. She went to uh, <laughs> she went to Campbell. So she went to Campbell, right? Mind you, you got Pebblebrook, McEachern, uh, Osborne, Kennesaw Mountain. Um, North Cobb, all them, all them schools and shit, right? So, around this time, around like literally right around this time, someone made a page called Cobb County Exposed or some shit. And this is where they had an Instagram page dedicated to where your school district, and it was like dedicated towards your school district, and people was getting exposed, whether it was videos, pictures, boys, girls, you know, someone was gay and no one knew it football players you know like all that shit niggas who was faking they offer basically like anybody like who had some dirt on you you was getting your shit exposed i i wasn't getting exposed because i ain't never send nothing out like you know i was di i'm a very discreet nigga i don't like my business out there at all so i'm very like i think that's why a lot of bitches with me because i'm like low-key with my all my shit so i'm over here on the page like me and my niggas who on the page was like damn nathan's a girl that got it we got a class with ooh, ooh, all that shit so we over here going through the page and you know, it's just another regular day. I'm over here talking to him like, damn, like, look, you see that, you follow that page, your cop county exposed and all that shit. Like, yeah, that shit funny, blah, blah, blah. So I'm over here texting and we know, you know, it's just another regular day. So then what I know is I wake up early in the morning, you know, cause like when I'm here, like we playing the game and shit, like we playing the game late at night, but we having late nights and early mornings. Like we're not forcing ourselves to wake up, but we waking up early if you go what I'm saying. Like we still trying to get the day started, but we're waking up like, like it's no alarm clock, but it's just like, I don't know. Not, we're not forcing ourselves to get up though because we're ready to start the day because we got a lot to do in this we you know it's spring break i i remember the exact day the uh the exact days okay so boom my mom she made breakfast we eat our breakfast and shit got down we get the golf car we got down we swimming and shit and then we go to the beach there's some girls over there it's a whole bunch of people on the beach so we just chilling around the beach walking around the whole uh beach house neighborhood and shit and i'm texting the old girl but like she's not texting back fast as usual so i'm like maybe she's asleep or maybe, you know, she out doing what she doing. I didn't really care at the time. But, like, I was, you know, a little caught. I was like, bro, like, what the fuck she doing? But, like, I didn't think she was like that. So, you know, long story short, I'm over here, you know, it's the end of the day. She hasn't texted me, like, all day. So, I'm like, what the fuck going on? So, I hear her. I'm like, yo, you good? She still didn't text me back. Tell me why. I, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go to sleep. Tell me why my niggas woke me out of my sleep, right? This this one, like, this one is about to get juicy. They woke me up out of my sleep. And I was like, bruh, bruh, ain't this old girl you talk to? Ain't this KK? And I'm like, bro, what is y'all talking about? Like, I'm still half sleeping shit. 
So they're like, bruh, look, she on the Instagram, uh, she on the Kyle County Exposed page. Instantly when they said that shit, I woke up like full force. I was like, huh? Like, I came out that bitch like The Undertaker. I came up on my bed like The Undertaker, my nigga. I was like, what? Huh? And then the, and they was like, bruh, ain't this KK? And I'm watching that shit, and I'm like, bro, like, I'm not gonna hold you. I was heartbroken, my nigga. Like, I watched that video, and I was like, tears started flowing down my eyes, but like, I wasn't finna show my niggas I was crying over no bitch. So I'm like, bruh, that ain't KK. Like, um, you know, I'm still trying to act like I'm sleep ball the whole time. I'm wild, I'm wild awake. Cause these niggas, they, they, you know, I'm over here bragging. I'm like, bruh, this my shorty, all that. My woman crush Wednesday, all that shit. I'm bragging about her and shit, right? But I'm not trying to look stupid. So I'm like, bruh, that whole night I couldn't sleep, bruh. Like I'm sitting here acting like I'm sleep, but I'm hurt, my nigga. Like, bruh, like that shit was hurting me. Like I was over here laying down on my bed, but like. Like, bro, I was crying myself to sleep. Like, the tears was rolling down on my, my pillow, and they was rolling down my hand and shit. And I'm hurt, my nigga. Like, I'm, I'm hurt. So, she, you know, she ain't text me, but she texted me back the next day. I'm still like, bro, I couldn't even go to I didn't even go to sleep that night. Like, I could, all I could dead ass, would, like, imagine was, like, her just, you know, getting a train ran on her, my nigga. Like, bro, this is how it happened. She had, yo, it was three niggas, right? She had a nigga on the bottom, she had a nigga in the back, and she had a nigga in the front. So this bitch was getting fucked in her pussy. She was getting fucked in her ass, and she was sucking dick. At the same time, bro, do you know how sickening I felt? Bro, I'm talking about, nigga, I, I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, this shit is starting to, like, this shit fucking me up right now, because I'm like, bro, like, bro, I know you fucking lying, like, my nigga. I know that I ain't sitting here talking to this bitch and she goddamn getting all her holes filled. Like, how you sucking dick, getting fucked in the pussy, and getting fucked in your ass all at once? And I was like, bro, this girl is a thought. Like, you know, she she a freak bull. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck going on? So I hit her up. I'm FaceTiming her. Like, I'm like, I'm like, bitch, like, you gonna pick up the phone now? So I'm hitting her up. And I'm like, it's early as fuck in the morning. This girl's not picking up the phone. Like, she not texting me back or nothing. She knows she was guilty and she knows she was on that page. So she texted me back next morning, like, I think I done fell asleep. I took, like, a little nap, like, a two-hour nap, but I still, like, was fucked up. So these niggas, like, they, you know, they being my niggas, they looking out for they're like, bro, you good? Like, you hungry? You, why you not playing the game? All that shit. Like, y'all know this, this bitch just, like, hurt my feelings. Dead ass. But y'all, like, I appreciate it, but, like, I wasn't in the fucking mood. So she finally texted me back, bro. When she texted me back, it was like, like... Like, like I just got told I want a million dollars or some shit. This is it. This is the bitch I wanted to hear from at this moment. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck going on, and I knew that was her for sure because she asked me what her nails, like what she she what she she paint her nails, and I told her I was like get baby blue. So I saw the baby blue nails, and she had these uh little kinkalon. I think that's I think that's what they call them, them little braids that them bitches be having. But I call them kinkalon. Like she had like kinkalon braids, and they were like blonde, so they were like Goldilocks or some Goldilock kinkalons or some shit like that. And I'm like, bro, I know this is you for sure, but she's swearing up and down. It's not her, but I'm like, bitch, I'm not retarded. I know my bitch when I see her. So I'm like, this is you. Like, you, do you think I'm stupid? So like, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm outside at this point because I don't want my niggas to hear me. But I know they was being nosy. They was probably out the window, like on the patio, listening to me. And I know they was like, damn. So I'm over here. I'm like, bro, like, like, do you think I'm stupid? Like, why would you do some shit like this? Like, like. You, like why couldn't it like you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm hurt bro so I'm you know I'm trying to deny but like at the same time I know it's her so long story short she finally admits that it was her yeah bitch I already knew like this is no surprise now my question is like my question is like what was you thinking like why 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 would you do that so I'm like what what the fuck like why why like bro I have no clue like I'm still speechless like for words so I'm over here stuttering and shit because I'm starting to get mad again. So I'm over here like, like bitch, like what, what's going on through your head? And what really killed me, I think what really like really set my mood off that like, that whole video, like the fact that she was getting like all through her holes full, that wasn't, I ain't give a fuck about that. It was the moaning, bruh. That bitch goddamn get her shit beat, and she talking about some, uh, uh. And I'm like, yo, like that shit hurts, bruh. If y'all niggas ever got cheated on, and y'all ever heard y'all bitch moan from another nigga or niggas, bro, that shit hurts, my nigga. Bro, I'm talking about, I'm sitting here like. Mm. And at this time, Drake dropped this shit. So I'm over here listening to Drake, bro. Like, whenever shit feels like either I'm happy, mad, or sad, or I'm stressed, I'm always listening to Drake because that's my guy. I'm listening to Drake, bro. He not making it no better, but like, shit, what else am I going to listen to? Trap Queen? Fuck no. So I'm over here listening to this shit. And I'm like, bro, like, this makes no sense. Like, why me? So, bro, I ended up just stop fucking with the bitch. I just cut her off. And after that shit happened... I just came in, I was just like a different person, like, 
a lot of people like if a lot of people know like if if they t if you t ask them about me they're gonna be like after spring break he changed like after spring break i really did change like but i'm glad i wasn't you know people didn't know we was a fit like we wasn't even official but like we was using a making woman crush wednesday man crush all that shit so everybody asked me they're like nobody really knew because we wasn't dating so but like they knew i would post on my snap and they knew she would post me on her snap but it wasn't nothing major so I wasn't really embarrassed, but I was embarrassed at the same time because, like, she was a reflection of me if you kind of, like, get what I'm saying. But, like, bro, after that shit happened, bro, I'm trying to make this story short. Like, it, it could really be a two-part story, but I'm just going to make it one for the cut it off in a minute. But, like, after that shit happened, bro, like, a lot of shit changed. Like, my whole persona, like, I became so nonchalant, bro. And I just get act like, like, I really didn't give a fuck about shit. Like, these bitches, like, all these girls were the same to me. I was like, all these bitches out here is thoughts. And that's how, I like, I looked at it when I was just like... For now on, bro, like, these bitches is done for, my nigga. Like, I'm straight dogging these hoes. Like, bitch say she got feelings for me, I'ma, like, get my dick sucked, and I'ma, like, just pat, like, I'ma just never talk to her again. And that's really the type of mood I was on. Like, that shit, like, really carried me. Like, that shit, bro, that shit would've never happened, I would've never been a nigga. Like, that, that, that ego I got right now is, like, that shit be, the bitches love it, bro. I ain't saying to be that type of guy, but shit, these bitches don't like no friendly nigga, and that's what I was. I was a friendly-ass nigga. I was soft for her. And I promise you I ain't being soft no other bitch again, you know what I'm saying? But uh that's the story, bro. If y'all want more of this, nah, I'm gonna tell y'all more about the story from my in my next story time because this is this is the goddamn root of all the story times. Cause this shit not this is the backstory to all my story times. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this shit. I'll try to make it I didn't want it to be too long, but this shit long as fuck anyway. But if you made it to the end of the video, like drop a drop a comment down and be like gang gang or some shit. So I can know you like watch the whole video. But uh enjoy, gang.